When the crowds go home and the lights turn off, Exact Tech Arena seems peaceful from the outside. But inside, the music's turned up as the heavy lifting begins. Most people don't realize it's even happening because it's, it's almost always in the middle of the night. We had a women's basketball game on Thursday night, we got a gym meet on Friday night, and all that work happened in the middle of the night after the crowd left. You leave a basketball game one night and you show up at a gymnastics meet the next day, you know, that's us here all night working hard, making that happen. Like last night we went from basketball to gymnastics, we had to clean up after the basketball game, and everything got put away, all the tables, all the chairs, the basketball floor had to actually get picked up, put into storage. And then all the gymnastics equipment came out in the middle of the night. You've got the, the TV that's got to come in at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Then you've got the team practices, so people don't, don't realize that that, that shortens that, that window that you have to have it done. There are hundreds behind the work put into the arena's transformations, and it's not the athletic events that are hardest to configure because those always remain the same. It's the unique settings for trade shows and festivals. The number of full-time employees is 15, but student workers? Well, there's over 400. The students come from UF, Santa Fe, and even local high schools. We put out advertisements around the schools and just hire and kind of give them an opportunity to shine and excel and really pull off these events. Yeah, I actually was, you know, a new kid on campus and uh, found this in one of the local advertisements on one of the school newspapers and just applied and signed up and four years later I'm still here. There's been times when they begin work in the middle of the night and don't leave until 8 or 9 in the morning. I either just go straight to class and then take a late afternoon nap, you know, it's just kind of find your sleep where you can, but, uh, you know, it's definitely worth it. When you spend nights here with a lot of people, you get to become really close with them at 3 a.m. when you're doing whatever you're doing. So, um, you know, made a lot of great friends here and it's been a great experience. Pulling off these events is not an easy task. It requires a good amount of training. Uh, there's definitely a learning curve. Uh, some things are very tough to get to know, but other things are very simple. Some tables and chairs, anybody can pick up right away, but there is some things that do take a little bit of training to get to understand. We have a very rigorous uh, training program where they are um, not only given written instructions on what to do, but before they can lead a crew on their own, they have to phase it. They have to train under an experienced supervisor who can show them exactly how to do it. Some past students have leveraged their positions into full-time jobs around the world. From the Superdome, to Soldier Field, to Shanghai, and even the Olympics, the list goes on and on. Reporting from Exact Tech Arena, Megan Plain, CBS4 Sports.